everybody it's crystal so how's everybody doing today i hope everybody's doing well and staying safe so today i'm coming from you from my freddy room to show you about some new yarn that i got going on well some of it's new some of it's old but hey i it's from hershner's now i haven't bought from hershner's in a while i do really like hershner's if you're not familiar with them um you can check them out um they have quite a variety of yarn and I did get a couple of new ones that I've never had and then a couple old favorites uh, that uh, I'd like to show everybody as well um, but yes they always ship in a very timely manner this only took like three days to get to my house um, that was me ordering it and then three days later it was at my house so it's always for me it's always very timely uh, they're shipped out of Wisconsin they do have a store there as well uh, brick and mortar that you can go into but I always buy online because I'm in Illinois so let's check it out you guys want to I'm super excited to see what's inside I do not have a tutorial for the sweater the sweater is store bought and of course I don't have a tutorial for this hat um, either but please check out my channel and look at my hundreds and hundreds of tutorials I have a lot anything that you could ever want to make in multiples of them and um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you can leave a comment below tell me what you think about it tell me what you think about the yarns and um don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out are you guys ready to see all right let's see oh and hershers always put the prices on their invoice which i love because i don't have to look it up so first off, I'm going to introduce you to, maybe you, some of you are familiar with this yarn, but uh, I'll show you if you're not. This is called a Worsted Hershner's Worsted 8 Heathers. Now they have a regular uh, Worsted 8 and this one is their Heathered variety. Now the Worsted 8 means it's a four weight yarn and there's eight ounces of it. So it's a half a pound of yarn. Um, now to me their heathered worsted yarns are very very soft in comparison to the regular worsted eight yarns if you've ever felt there there those those are very similar to red heart super saver these are actually very nice for a, a 100 percent acrylic uh four weight yarn um for it being a value yarn it's a very nice value yarn um it is 100% acrylic, 8 ounces, 226 grams, there's 489 yards per ball. So you're just going to really close to 500 yards. And it's made in Turkey, machine wash, and dryable. So there's their four weight. It's always a nice four weight. It's always a nice amount of yardage. It's always close to 500 yards in these. And normally these run 497 yes 497 a ball and to me the heathers are the best as far as their um worsted weight collection goes i do like their regular but remember they are a bit scratchy but will soften up after a wash but these heathers are super soft and very scarfable uh and i'm certain they smell clean i'm just not going to smell them now at the moment due to COVID. So I'm just going to tell you that I know that they are always clean from Hershner's. I've never ever had a problem with Hershner's. Me personally, never had to contact customer service. I've always got my packages, always got everything that I've received and um, everything has been just as, it as it's been described. Yeah, described. So this one is very beautiful. You can see the heathered look to it. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn for it being a value yarn. It's a great value for your money. I think it's very nice. It feels good. You know, it, it remember though, it is a 100% acrylic, but if I had to rate it on acrylics, it's an upper, um, for a value yarn, it would be in the upper top for softness on a value yarn. So these are 497 and the color of this one is called brick. It's beautiful, isn't it? That is beautiful. I love it. It's like a light brick color. It's gorgeous. Um, so let me show you. There, I got one of. I got some of every color. I got enough to make a pro something big if I wanted to, like, you know, because they're 500 yards. So I got three of each. Oh, these are so nice compared to their regular uh, Orsted Eight. Look at that beautiful heathered gray. That's gorgeous too. I love this tall. This color of gray. Very neutral. Very very pretty. Gorgeous gorgeous that is beautiful okay this one is remember these are 497 a piece this is very beautiful too this one is called fossil so this is a green colored it's a very 
uh, tr pretty much true to color on my camera. My camera is very well at picking up true to color. Uh, pretty much looks similar. I would tell you otherwise if it did not. Yes, but that's pretty much how the color of it is. It's very pretty. I like that one. Okay. Ooh, this blue's pretty too. <laughs> They're all pretty though. They're all so pretty. Look at that one. Oh, it's so soft. I love this yarn. And you know, as much as I love this yarn and I have bought it in the past several times, I have never, I, I made a hat out of it on my, out of my knitting machine um, and it was wonderful, but I've always given it away. This time I'm not going to because, well, I might give away some of the colors. I actually think I might keep that brick. I'll tell you in a second. Anyways, here's the blue, a very gorgeous, like a blue jean, old fashioned stone wash, blue jean color, you know, like you'd see in the eighties. That's so cool. I like that one. This one's called, uh, navel, 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 navel. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh, you know anything about me, you know, Bago Day loves mustard yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. Look at that one. Gorgeous. It's got that heathered look to it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and this one is called mm, Mustard Seed. Appropriate name. Very appropriate. It's very beautiful. I do like it a lot. Um, and there I have two more colors left. This is all the colors that they have. I love this one as well. I'm very much into not super bright oranges, but I do love, I love uh, a lot of like pumpkin color oranges. And this one is gorgeous. Ooh, it's nice. This one's called Saffron. I love that one as well. Right back here, that's about true to color. That's a very beautiful yarn. I love it. Wow. And there's one more color of the uh, Heathers, and I'll show it to you right quick. Mmm, very pretty. I love them all. This one's called Teal Lake. Ooh, it's an appropriate name too. You know, they're kind of, um, they're not super, super dark colors. They're medium. They're not super pastel. They're not super dark. They're just kind of a normal, um, you know, medium color. That's very beautiful. And you can see the heather look to it. So those are the colors of the Worsted 8. Like I said, I am planning on keeping a couple to make something with. A lot of these I'll probably give away and giveaways eventually because I can't keep, I can only keep so much yarn. But I do enjoy doing unboxings and showing everybody the new yarns. So I'm going to, uh, I love them all, but I will be keeping this uh, pink one and the beautiful gray as well. And I think I might put them together. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. But as for the worsted eight, I will give it a thumbs up. But if you do buy this, do remember it is a value yarn and it is a 100% acrylic yarn, but it is very soft for it being a value yarn. It is a nice soft acrylic and I would highly recommend the heathered uh, worst of date heathers uh, to anybody. Um, I do, like I said, I do like their regular worst of date, but it is scratchy. It's very much like Red Heart Super Saver, but uh, these are not very nice. Good, good price, uh, five ninety or four ninety seven, and good yardage, almost five hundred yards per ball. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Okay, so I've had this before, and again, I've given it away. Uh, but I'm going to keep this one this time because Evelyn wants something made out of it. She wanted something made out of the last one too. Um, this one is called Sundance Sweets. Look at that neon color. Evelyn loves it so much. My daughter, Evelyn, she is six now. She just turned six. So the Sundance Sweets run $2.99 a ball. They actually have some very pretty ones. Um, I do have another pink one here that I have not used yet, but Evelyn wanted this bright neon one. It's a very, very bright neon. Um, let's read about it. 100% acrylic, you know, and as for this one, this one feels kind of like in the middle for acrylic yarns. It's not the softest you've ever felt, but it's not the worst you've ever felt. It's scarfable, and I'm certain that it'll soften up after a wash. Um, it's a self-striping yarn, as you can see. And 100% acrylic, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 164 yards or 150 meters. Medium weight number four made in China. So it, there are, here's our medium weight number four on that one. That's a good medium weight number four, 164 yards for $2.99. I'd buy that all day long because the colors are just so beautiful. 
Um, if you look at their colors, they have quite a few beautiful colors. I keep looking over there because I see another one on my shelf. <laughs> but uh, this neon one is gorgeous, as well as their other colors. Aren't they pretty? They're so bright. I wonder if they glow. They would glow in the black light. I don't have my black light here. I'd show you. I do the black light test, but I don't have it. So I love these. They're very, very nice. Okay, let me move on to something. I know they had some new yarn that I never bought before. Oh, and I have some mystery bags. Mystery bags. I forgot about those. Every time I buy from Hershner's, I got to get a mystery bag. Okay, so this was the new yarn that I've never had before. It's called Soho Playful. See that? That is gorgeous. Let's see. These are $2.99 a ball. And this one is called Strawberry Patch. It's soft. Let's read about it. Um, it says there's, it's 65 cotton, 35 acrylic, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 218 yards, or 200 meters. Machine wash and dry. Um, and it is a medium weight number four. Now, this is a chain spun yarn. I can tell by looking at it, which means it's going to be a lightweight uh, at, when you wear it. That's a nice four weight right there. You can see the chain spun on it. It does um, have some fuzzies on it. If you look up close, you'll see that. Now, that is intended to look like that. It is, that is very beautiful. Um, it's a self-striping yarn. You can tell by looking at it. And the softness factor is there. It's scarfable. Um, it feels fine. I would wear it against my skin. Like if I was to make a sweater out of it, it would not scratch me. Um, this would make something a very nice and lightweight because it is uh, chain spun, which allows... If you don't know what chain spun is, I do have a yarn 101 series that you can look up um, and it'll tell you about all different varieties of yarn, uh, chaining, chain versus roving versus plied, and different weights and stuff like that. But chain spun, uh, to shorten it up, is just spun in a way, in a chain formation, to where it allows the air to go through it freely, which makes it lighter to, to the feel. So it's very beautiful and for $2.99 for... Um, a 218 yards of a medium four weight. It is a very gorgeous yarn. I would buy that again. I love this one, Strawberry Patch. I did buy another color here, and this one is called, it's cool, it's a cotton acrylic blend, but it really doesn't feel like a cotton acrylic blend. I can't really explain it. It's nice, it's pretty. It does look like you, it could be a little problem, problem have a little trouble crocheting with it. Um, maybe like frogging it, like if you mess up, maybe it might be hard to pull out, but I could be wrong on that. But that doesn't detour me always. If I like the yarn, I'll use it anyways. And this yarn is very pretty. I love the self striping. The color, this one is called Iced Out. I love that name. That's beautiful. Right there it is. It's got the a little bit of yellows and some blues in it. Very pretty. And then I got, I guess I got one more color here. I do, if I can find it. Does I have another color? Here it is. Oh, <laughs> this one's pretty too. Look at that pretty one. Ooh, that's beautiful. Evelyn would really like that one too. Her favorite colors are pink and purple. And this has very light purple, dark purple, medium purple, and white in it. So it's a very, very pretty. That light purple is almost pink. That's a very pretty one. I like that a lot. I do. Um, and this is Purple Paradise. Such an appropriate name. So yes, I would recommend that one as well. I would repurchase this one as, uh, as well as every one that I've showed you so far, I would repurchase. Now, let's get to the mystery bags. Want to? So they have uh, mystery bags. I always get the wool, wool blend mystery bags and they run $14.99 a piece. Some I bought three of them. Sometimes they are the same, sometimes they're different. Sometimes they're the same, but with just different colors. That's the thing about Hershner's when you buy their mystery bags. Um, you just don't know if they're all gonna be the same or they're gonna be different, but they do come separately packaged. So this is one of their mystery bags right here. Let's see what I got in it once here. I love mystery bags. <laughs> I love yarn, they're so fun. Okay, so this is the Willow burrow ooh, bulky weight i love bulky weight it's a number five 75 acrylic 25 wool 
And what's the yardage on this bad boy? 131 yards. That is a nice bulky five weight. Very thick. So I got two of them in this color of Azalea. Very pretty. They feel fine. And I also got two more in this color, which is called Rosettes. What do you let me know? They go together? I don't know. That's an iffy. I always wonder if pink and, pink and red go together. You let me know in the comments. That's always been my my question. A lot of people say they do, and then a lot of people say they don't. I'm on the I'm on the fence on that. Pink and purple or pink and red. Pink and red. Do pink and red go together? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, and also in my mystery box, I got some willow drift i have had this yarn before it's uh 3.5 ounces 100 grand 275 yards it is a lightweight number three 70 percent super wash merino and 30 percent bamboo so you can see it's very very tightly wound in this in this ball here but they said it's a three-way and yes i agree with that it looks like to be to be self-striping very pretty so i got two of them in this color um limestone and then i got two more as well Ooh, i really like this color a lot this one's very pretty very much my colors it's very nice fiber content uh the super wash wool and bamboo blend this one's called sandbar so i got two of those so that was what was in one mystery bag these four and then these four and that was for $14.99 I'm happy with that let's see what else I got are they all going to be the same we don't know <laughs> okay so this time they're all the same except for different colors I'm okay with that I'm okay with that so I got in this mystery bag again here's my next one it was $14.99 I got two more of the burrows in this pink color called slip and then i got two of them in this brown i have some of this at my house right now <laughs> um and it's called fireplace so i got two of those as well i actually think these go well together myself but that's just me actually the pink and brown go well together too i don't know and then I got two more of the yellow drift. So I have a total of four of these now if I want to make a bigger project. And then I got two of a new color. Um, and this one is called Sangria. Two of these as well. So that was my second mystery bag. All right, let's look at my third. Third and final mystery bag. Third and final bag of, of the box. Oh, it's the same as the one I just got. That's okay. I don't mind them being the same because um, that just gives you more yardage, especially with this bulky yarn, it, you know, that doesn't have a lot of yardage already. You could use it. You need more of it. So this is uh, the Burrow, which is acrylic wool blend, bulky number five. Um, 131 yards per ball. So... They gave me two in this one, and I got two in another one, so that make, gives me a lot more so I can make a bigger project. And then again, I got two more of the pink, which again, I'll be able to make a bigger project with those. And then <laughs> I got two more of the yellow, so I got six of these bad boys right here. Now I can make a huge project with that. You know, this would probably make a really good shawl, like triangle shawl or something, or a wrap, because it's, it's, it's a lightweight three. Um, give it a nice, uh, semi-open stitch i think that would make beautiful drape on that um and keep you warm because it is a wool wool blend it's it, two more of the sandbar which these are probably my favorite of everything that i got are these okay uh, of the mystery bags these were my favorite that were in the mystery bags and the mystery bags are always um i i get them when i buy and you know they've always had different yards in them and stuff so um, I am very, very happy with my Hirschner's purchase. I love everything that I got. I highly, highly recommend those heather, heather yarns. And this Soho is very, very beautiful, the playful. And so is the Soho um, 
sweet. They have very beautiful colors, but Evelyn just had to have this neon. When I gave it away last time, she was heartbroken. So I told her I'd get it again <laughs> and make her something out of it. So that is it. I love everything that I got. I'm very happy with the mystery boxes. I think that it, that the price was was great. Um, I got a good deal on that. I got multiple so I can make bigger projects. And that's it. I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun opening up a big box of yarn. I haven't done that in a long time. A big, big box. It's, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing it. But remember, I can't keep it all. And I, it eventually, uh, most of it ends up in giveaways. But I do enjoy opening it and talking yarn with you guys. And I appreciate you guys if you're still here with me, talking yarn with me. I love you all, okay? Stay safe. Bye, guys.